Chrome Box Alpha and SPSS is one of the statistical method that can be used to measure the internal consistency of items or score consistency. Chrome Box Alpha value can be calculated to determine the reliability of multiple choice question exam paper. The value for the Chrome Box Alpha range from 0 to 1. 0 means that the exam or the test is unreliable and 1 means that the exam uh, paper is extremely reliable. Here in SPSS data view I have data taken from exam result for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice question and the score for each question is recorded as either 0 or 1 0 means wrong answer 1 means correct answer so the data here we have is a dichotomous data i.e. binary data there is just only two options, either right or wrong, zero or one. To determine and find out whether the exam is reliable, we need to calculate the Chrome Box Alpha. And to do that, click on Analyze, scroll down to Scale, and then select Reliability Analysis, click on it. In this new window we're going to select all the variables all the questions from 1 to 15 select a and then drag them and place them in the items box and for the model we are going to use the alpha the chrome box alpha in the statistic section or icon a new window will, if we click on it, a new window will appear and we are going to select the scale from the descriptive scale if item is deleted and I will shortly uh, describe the benefit of uh, choosing this option. In addition to that, I'm going also to select the if test. And if I click on continue, then on OK, the uh, an SPSS will generate an output with few tables on it. The first table summarizes the case. So we have here 10 students and the second table is the important table as the SPSS package has calculated the Chrome Box Alpha and it was found to be equal to 0.91 so or 91 percent so what does this value mean this mean that the test or the exam is 91 percent reliable so any value for the chrome box alpha equal to 0.9 or greater is considered to be an extremely reliable exam and anything close to zero it's mean or it means unreliable so for this exam the reliability is very very high and the test is consistent and excellent in the third table here is very interesting table uh, it shows each question question number one to question number 15 and in the third column here uh, it shows corrected item for total correlation and then the next to it chrome box alpha I, uh, if item is deleted so what does that mean if question number one is deleted the chrome box alpha will increase from 0.90 or 0.91 to 0.92 so this table shows that 
deleting question number one will increase the reliability uh, value or the Cronbach's alpha. To test this, we're going to do repeat the same analysis, but in this case, we are going to deselect question number one. So if we deselect question number one and repeat the same analysis and click OK, again, we can see here we have exactly the same student number but the questions or the number of the items has decreased from 15 in the above it was 15 questions uh, decreased into 14 as one of the item or the question has been removed from the analysis and looking at the Cronbach's alpha value it increased to 0.92 from a previous value of 0.92 one so deleting question number one has improved the reliability and increased the Cronbach's alpha so this is one of the way to calculate the reliability uh, value and Cronbach's alpha in SPSS if we go back again to the same set of uh, variables 15 questions and 10 students if we looked at, look at this table that is labeled ANOVA again in this ANOVA we can calculate or I can calculate the Cronbach's alpha the important values to look at is the mean square the mean square between individuals and the residual the residual is the error so to calculate Cronbach's alpha from this table we're going to use a calculator so in this calculator I'm going to use this equation 1 minus move this to the right here 1 minus the value of the error residual 0 0.153 0 0.153 and then divide that by 1.65 1.65 so we're going to use the mean square for people and the mean or the means square for error dividing the residual uh, by the um, between for the mean square of both and if we click on equal a value is generated which is 0 0.905 or 0 0.907 uh, which is similar to the one calculated by SPSS in this table here so we have here now two approaches to calculate the chrome patch alpha that automatically generated by the SPSS or indirectly through using the ANOVA table here to work out the chrome backs alpha so this is the way to determine and calculate the chrome backs alpha in SPSS and to evaluate an exam paper uh, that contains only multiple choice questions and to determine will, whether this exam is reliable or not based on the value obtained from the statistical analysis.